So here on my channel, most of you guys know that are subscribed to me. And on a side note, if you guys are not subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that red button if you don't mind. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can see the latest on this channel. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. But like I was saying, most of you guys know that I mainly talk about hair here on this channel. And um, I usually try to stick within that niche or clothing or something of that nature. But today I just want to make this video. So in this video, we will explore the Bible through hair. And um, just on a side note, you guys, I just felt like I had to do this because I hate talking to people that are just ignorant to the word of God. And they say things like the Bible is the white man's book because it's not. If you've ever read it and you ever got understanding from it, you would know that it's not. Okay, you guys, I want to start with Solomon, and we're starting in Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5 through 6. And I think that this is the most refutable verse in the Bible, so I want to start here. And he's just talking about himself, and he's saying that, I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedor, as the curtains of Solomon. And he's just explaining how black he is. If you go into detail and research a little more, then we're going on to verse 6. Look not upon me, because I am black. Because the sun has looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyard. But my own vineyard have I not kept. In verse 6, you can see Solomon explaining why he's so dark or so black. And that his mother's children were angry with him. And as you kind of look at this, you kind of can see that um, field slave, house slave mentality going on. It's like a lighter skin versus dark skin kind of thing. Um, this is at least this is what I'm picking up from this verse and maybe I'm wrong Maybe they were mad at him for some other reason and maybe it's just explaining why he got so dark because he was keeping the vineyard I don't know, but um I'm kind of thinking it is that um, Dark skin versus light skin mentality And it's almost like he um, Doesn't like the fact that he is so black or so dark um, I don't think he's ashamed because if he was ashamed, he wouldn't say that I am black. Um, but I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like he has to give you guys uh, a reason or justify why he is so black. And here's a picture of what um, Bathsheba could have looked like. I'm not sure. I wasn't there. I don't have pictures. But you guys know that Bathsheba was Solomon's mother. And I'm thinking that she looked like a lighter skinned black woman because of the location they were and how long ago it was. And also, I just want you guys to keep in mind that his siblings might have looked different from Solomon because Bathsheba was previously married before she got with David. And she might have had um, kids with the previous husband, so they might have looked different from Solomon. So you guys just keep that in mind. And I'm not sure if the verse is talking about his siblings with Bathsheba and David or his siblings um, that are his half-brothers and sisters. And I just want to throw in a picture of how... Solomon's siblings could have looked they could have looked more mixed race with a looser curl pattern I'm not sure and I'm just thinking this because Solomon just um, Emphasized so much on how dark he was and the texture of his hair. So maybe they looked something, you know, totally um, Different from him whether it was a lighter skinned black person or a mixed looking person. I'm not sure Okay, now we're going on with the description of Solomon and talking about his hair. I'm starting from Song of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 11, where he's, he goes on to say, His head is like the most fine gold. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. Okay, guys, I just read from the King James Bible, and this version is like an earlier version of it. Some of the other Bibles say different things. They say his texture was wavy or whatever. And then I also like this New American Standard Bible. It says that his hair is like gold, pure gold. His locks are like clusters of dates and black as a raven. And it's just showing the different textures of hair. And when you hear clusters or you hear bushy, you automatically assume uh, curly hair or some type of kinky hair. At least that's what I think of. And here I'm going to show you guys a picture of dates. And as you can see, they resemble um, like locks of curls or some kind of tightly rolled hair. Um, at least that's what I see when I look at the cluster cluster of dates. Here are two pictures how I think that Solomon may have looked according to the scripture. His hair like clusters of dates and his skin like a golden brown and it's darkened by the sun. I think these would be like the most uh, relevant looks or the closest looks to how he would look. 
Um, not saying that he looked exactly like this, but I'm thinking somewhere in the ballpark of this. Here we're taking a look at 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 12, and it's talking about David, which was Solomon's father. And it says, So he sent and brought him. He had a dark, healthy complexion with beautiful eyes, and he was handsome. The Lord said, Get up and anoint him, for this is the one. Here are two pictures of what David could have looked like. According to scripture, um, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 12. And you guys also know that there are different translations of the Bible. In the King James translation, um, they say that David had a ruddy color. Ruddy means like a red undertone in your skin complexion. So this is what I think would be the closest to what he might have looked like because he did say that, well, the Bible um, did say that he was dark and also ready so this right here depicts dark and ready to me um as far as how handsome he was i guess that's uh each his own how handsome you think somebody is um but this is the end of this video and i just wanted to give you guys a little knowledge of the bible and to think twice or to read it before you just automatically throw it off or toss it out to the side and say that it is the white man's book I just want you guys to have a little bit more knowledge of the Bible so you guys can get some understanding and I want you guys to be able to tell, you know, what is and what isn't and don't just toss things to the side if you haven't read with understanding or if you don't understand something, look it up, get more translations or whatever. But this is the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it. And I will be making a part two to this video. I did not want it to run this long, but there are plenty more things that um, I can share with you guys to let you know why this isn't just the white man's book. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to share this video because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next one.